Hey there. Um, I came up to this playroom area to pray away the anxiety. I got hit the last night and this morning with all kinds of anxiety related to my writing business. I actually, for two, for about a week and a half, have had zero fears and the Lord's just been good. And what I realize uh, is that um, what we need to fear is not tomorrow. What we need to fear is our fear. <laughs> we, and by fear, it means have a healthy respect for the fact that something's going on in your heart and you can deal with it right now. And it's not really about asking the Lord for the provision for that situation you're afraid of, although he takes care of that too. But you know that, you know that empirically as a child of God, you have a knowledge in you that God is your provider. And our temptation is to just like think about the situation and hope God takes care of the situation. Think about the situation, pray that God takes care of the situation that all eyes on the situation and our heart then is filled with the care of this world and with the anxiety of the age. And what that's what we need to fear because that'll wipe you out. Um, so when you go to pray, stop worrying about the situation and worry about the condition of your heart. Do you know how to prevail in the spirit? You know, I worry about those who have an academic interest in the word and have not ever wielded the word as a sword of the spirit to slay their own fears and inhibitions. Uh, we, especially now, need the word like a weapon. And, you know, the best way to know the word is to read it without thinking so much don't come to the word with questions and burdens come to the word and empty yourselves of your questions and your burdens and then let the word just be the word you know when the disciples followed the word which was jesus christ in the flesh he called them out of all their cares he called them out of their situations he called them out of their work. He called them out of everything and said, follow me. And told them, don't worry about anything. You follow me. That was his teaching to them, was to trust in me. I am your I am your provider. I am your supply. I am your life now. Uh, because he provides in a way that frees you from the cares of this world. We are not dependent on this world to meet our need. We're dependent on God. And he's faithful and he's here for us. And when we come to the word, we need to be like the disciples who, who you know, dropped their concern to follow Jesus. And Jesus is the word. Just drop your concern and let the word pick you up. And sometimes, you know, the word is food. It's supposed to nourish you. It's supposed to strengthen your heart. It's supposed to satisfy you inwardly to change the condition of your heart and bring you out of your anxieties and the cares of this age and everything into the bosom of the Father where you just know you're safe. And it's not because anything in your situation has changed, but it's because you've seen light to see where you are and who he is to you. And that's what we should hope to get from the word. When we come to the word, we should be meeting Christ himself and letting him explain who he is again and again and renewing us in that explanation, which is the gospel. Renewing our heart. We need to come to the word to be washed and renewed. And then our fears, he can deal with that. Uh, I'm so tired. I slept like not, I don't know, five and a half hours or something. Um, I shouldn't have done that Thyatira video last night. It was so late. But anyway, 
Yeah, I feel better. I read 91 again, Psalm 91 and 92, and just, you know, not just reading it, but praying it. You have to pray these things. Interact with the Lord on the basis of who he is revealed in the word. He is the secret place of the Most High. I am under the shadow of the Almighty, and he is the Almighty, right? He is my refuge. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge. Lord, you are my refuge. I take refuge in you, and you're my fortress. You protect me. And in you I trust. You need to have that kind of, do you have that kind of relationship with the Lord based on his word, where you're just giving him what he says about himself and saying, yes, I acknowledge it's true. My spirit bears witness that it's true. You do that, it'll deliver you from your fears. Nothing's different about my situation, but I feel a lot better. My situation, I don't even know what my situation is. I don't know what tomorrow holds. I don't know what's going on. All I know is God is my provider. And I look at one thing as a means of my provision, but a lot of times when I'm looking at that, he supplies me from another avenue, you know? He always takes care of us. Uh, he is faithful. You can trust him, but your heart is the problem. Your heart condition is the problem, not your situation. And you don't have to be under that fear, but you need to wage war against your fear by feeding on the word and forgetting everything and coming to Christ and just giving yourself to him and letting him be him to you.